Hey everybody, it's Vicar Josh here at St. Michael Lutheran. And for our Lenten Vespers tonight, I thought we'd change it up a little bit. Rather than me doing it from my apartment, since I'm here for my office hours, I thought I'd do it from the sanctuary. But just to tweak it a little bit more, I'm doing it from your point of view so that you can see my point of view every Sunday. And of course, unfortunately, none of you are here right now, but we're still together in spirit, and that's what's important. So I invite you to prepare your hearts and minds for worship as we begin with our Lenten, actually our last Lenten Vesper service. Let us begin with worship. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Turn us again, O God of our salvation, that the light of your face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun. And may the poor be lifted up. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun. And we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with your voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life. The universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day, in a pillar of cloud by day, in a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom, Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, 
the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. A reading from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your namesake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. And yes, I know that wasn't the right tune. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, there are so many concerns in this world right now. There's so many fears. There's so many questions. Help us in the midst of our uncertainty to turn to you, to hear your voice, and to walk as you call us to walk. In your holy name we pray. Amen. When I first laid out this bulletin for the Lenten services, I did not realize that I would be preaching on Psalm 23 two weeks ago like I did. Um, that was more of a spur of the moment kind of thing based on everything that was going on. Now, everything I said in that sermon two weeks ago was still true, but there are a few things that we need to highlight tonight just to keep us going. We talked about before that a lot of people consider Psalm 23 to be the death psalm because it's a very reassuring psalm and we hear it a lot at funerals. But it's not just about death. It's about God's continuing goodness all throughout our lives. It's about our ability to come in and out of the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. It's about God giving us in abundance more than we could ever ask for. Our cups are literally running over. And I know that right now, it doesn't seem that way. You know, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of uncertainty. Every time we think that this, this COVID-19 thing is going to get better, it doesn't. And right now, we don't know how long this shutdown that our country is going through is going to last. What we can know, what we can always know, is that God cares for us, God loves us, God is there for us. 
God pursues us with goodness and mercy, even if it doesn't seem like it at times. There are examples of that all over the place. I mean, you look at the church right now. Most people look at that and see an empty church. I don't. I mean, sure, nobody's here, but that doesn't mean the church is gone. It doesn't mean the church can't meet because we're here in an online presence right now. What those empty seats out there mean to me is that the church has just been deployed. We're on mission. We're out in the world doing what God calls us to do. That might look like caring for our elderly family members. That might look like calling people in our family to make sure they're doing okay. That might look like helping wherever we can through this crisis. That's what we're called to do. That's who we are. That's how we know that God is with us. So throughout all of this, remember, God's rod and staff, that cross that we're going to focus on so heavily next week, it is what comforts us. It is what assures us that all the ills of this world, all the things that are going wrong, are only temporary things. At the end of the day, all things will be well. Amen. I invite you to join me from home in singing the, the gospel canticle. soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great and my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait you fix your sight on your servant's blood and my weakness you did not spare so from east to west shall my name be blessed could the world be about to turn my heart shall sing of the day you bring let the fires of your justice burn wipe away your tears for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn Though I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. You put me near, put the brow to shame, and to those who would for you yearn. You might show your mind, put the strong to fly, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away your tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. From the halls above to the fortress town, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king beware, for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more, for the food they can never bear. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away your tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. 
God's mercy must deliver us from the tiger's brushing glass. His saving word that our forebears had is the promise which holds us back. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God, who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you pray, like the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears through the dawn draws near, when the world is about to turn. Y'all, I do have my glasses on. I should be able to see the words, but apparently not. I messed up like four times in there. Let us continue our service with the prayers. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you. Through Christ our Lord, to you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. I invite you to join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Go in peace, share God's love. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for watching the last few Lenten services online. Um, I know it was disappointing that we weren't able to be here in person, but as I said, we are the church deployed now. So we're out doing God's work in the community as our communities deal with this COVID-19 crisis and anything else that might come up. Um, starting next week, we won't have a Wednesday night service, but there will be, of course, Palm Sunday because we're in Holy Week. So Palm Sunday and then Monday, Thursday service, Good Friday and, and Vigil of Easter on Saturday, followed by Easter on Sunday. And all of those will be online services. So I look forward to seeing you digitally. And I pray that you have a blessed Holy Week as we approach it. God's peace be with you all. And thank you for watching.